Welcome to Ruthless Metal, where we discuss all things metal. And in today's video we're going to explore the origins of black metal, who invented the genre and the evolution from traditional heavy metal of the 70s to the early 80s when the first couple of black metal albums were released. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, because I got a lot of cool metal videos coming up in the near future. But now we're going to try to answer the question, who invented black metal? And to answer this question, we first need to establish what black metal is. And this is Wikipedia's definition of black metal. Black metal is an extreme subgenre of heavy metal music. Common traits include fast tempos, a shrieking vocal style, heavily distorted guitars played with tremolo picking, raw lo-fi recording, unconventional song structures, and an emphasis on atmosphere. Artists often appear in corpse paint and adopt pseudonyms. Initially black metal was a synonym for satanic metal, and black metal has often sparked controversy due to the actions and ideologies associated with the genre. Many artists express extreme anti-Christian and misanthropic views advocating various forms of satanism or paganism. And let's kick this video off with some rock songs from the 60s that dealt with occult themes. And the well-known British rockers The Rolling Stones wrote a song called Sympathy for the Devil, where Mick Jagger sings in a first-person narrative as the devil, boasting his role in several historical atrocities. Please allow me to introduce myself I'm a man of wealth and taste I've been around for a long, long year Stole many a man's sort of thing Also in 1968, Arthur Brown quickly earned a reputation for his outlandish performances. Oh no! And the crazy world of Arthur Brown was an English psychedelic rock band formed by Arthur Brown, or the God of Hellfire as he was referred to in the press, in reference to the opening line of the song that you just witnessed by the way. And Arthur Brown also used outlandish face paint that would later inspire Alice Cooper and Kiss amongst others. And before we leave the 60s, we also need to talk about Coven and their 1969 debut album, Witchcraft Destroys Minds and Reaps Souls. And this record dealt with overtly occult and satanic themes, and it was removed from the market soon after its release due to controversy. And this album marked the first appearance in music of The Sign of the Horns, Inverted Crosses and the phrase Hail Satan. And today these are characteristics commonly used in black metal. Hey, hey, hey. 
So I guess that Coven proves that rock and roll really is the devil's music after all. But since this video is about who invented black metal, let's put the focus on metal music now. And here are some hard rock and heavy metal bands that sung about the devil or hell for that matter. But black metal is not only about the dark arts, it's also about the music. Fast, lo-fi produced, sometimes atmospheric metal with shrieking vocals. And the band that steered heavy metal in this direction in the 70s was Motorhead. At least when it comes to fast paced music with dirty and raw production values. And just about every black metal band in the 80s cite Motorhead as a huge influence. And let's focus on England now, because a lot of the most sinister bands of the early 80s were part of the new wave of British heavy metal movement. And we're going to listen to a particular band now that I think were early adopters of heavy metal with occult themes. And 
and now you might be thinking, so what, it was just a demo. Only official releases matter. Well, fair enough. But uh, let's not forget that Angel Witch released their debut album before Venom, Slayer, Hellhammer and all of those bands had their first demos out. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Angel Witch were a black metal band or anything like that. But I do think that they bridged the gap between Black Sabbath and what was about to come. And we also have another new wave of British heavy metal band that I want to mention. And that is Witchfind and their 1980 debut album Give Em Hell. And just look at this album. The artwork, the album title and even the band name Oozes of Black Metal. But the songs on this record were more in the traditional heavy metal field. But this is the first time that I've seen Baphomet on an album sleeve.
1981, Venom released Welcome to Hell, which is generally seen as the starting point, not only for black metal, but extreme metal in general. And Newcastle-based Venom is, in my humble opinion, the true originators of black metal. And in different interviews, members of Venom have said that they drew influences from bands like Judas Priest, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, Kiss, Motorhead, Samson, Gary Moore, Blue Oyster Cult and Sex Pistols. But the term black metal was not invented yet, but that was about to change with Venom's second studio album. Yeah. 